morning! <laughs> it is day three of our second lockdown. Um, I have just put my contacts in so I can see. Um, it's about nine o'clock um, and I'm gonna do some skincare because I've not been doing it <laughs> since I got back from my holiday. So I oh, nearly dropped it. Let's start with one of my little reusable cotton rounds that mum made me. I've literally not brought like cotton rounds in like four years now, like I've been using them for so long. Um, so I just put some of the, um, this, the ordinary glycolic toning solution and I just wipe that all over my wee face gently, gently, gently. It's so nice how cold it is like in the morning. Um, so we have woken up with a few more cases. Apparently there is a child at another school, another college up in Auckland that has got it, which is not ideal at all. Um, and a patient in Waitakere Hospital, I believe. Um, so that's not ideal. And obviously people are coming out today with um, their predictions about how the announcement is going to go today. So, um, because it's Friday, um, just before I keep chatting, I don't know which of my serums I want to put on. We'll go with this one. I think I'll use this one. It's from my work. It's, Ju it's called Juvenate Reactivating Complex. It's just like an all-round, like, good serum. Um, what's I going to say? Oh yeah, people are trying to guess whether or not we're going to stay in this lockdown any longer. Um, I don't know, I was kind of feeling yesterday like maybe we won't because everything's been in Auckland. But people are saying we'll definitely be in lockdown until like at least Sunday, just to confirm. So I guess we'll all find out at 3 o'clock today <laughs> whether or not I'll be making any more of these videos. We'll just let that make it soak in. How old are you? How's it going? <laughs> Two days. I mean, really, it just feels like a couple of days off, doesn't it? So that's only once we start getting into the weeks that potentially things are a little bit longer. Um, I'm just going to chuck on some moisturiser and I just use this one from The Ordinary. I really like The Ordinary. Mainly I like their prices. <laughs> Not too expensive. All right, team. Let's go get changed. And dressed. Oh, changed and dressed are the same thing. Wow, my brain is dying. Um, let's go get dressed. <laughs> Hello, welcome. I um, love the look of like French plaits, like two of them down either side, like it's just 10 out of 10, one of my favourite hairstyles. I love that it gets like your hair out of your face for the day as well, but I cannot French plait. <laughs> I just do not have the like smarts to work out how to do it um, on myself. So I have had to find another way to create the illusion, which is what I'm going to do now. Um, just get my hair out of my face for the day without having it up in my usual like top knot. I have really been going back and forth again on getting like a haircut, like a pretty, a decent one, not just like a trim. I've been thinking like, sorry, the, the mirrors behind you. I just don't know, like, My hair's really flat, so I feel like doing a hairstyle like this, it just like sticks to the side of my face. <sighs> but maybe if I didn't have as much hair, because obviously this is quite heavy, maybe it would be more exciting. Like I like the idea of kind of like a long bob. Long bob. So anyway, what I do, I grab like a section of hair from the front, and I split it into two, putting the front one back, and then I let that one go down. And then it's basically just twisting. Like I grab some and I pull it back. Grab some, pull it back. Grab some, pull it back. Grab some, pull back. Pull back. And then you get like a certain point where I just 
transition into like a normal like three plait so probably like about here I split that bottom bit into like another one and then I just start to do like a normal plait all because I can't French plait you know what a treat like that's so quick though I feel like French plaiting is not that quick you know <clears throat> and then I just get a little baby hair tie tie that off and then once I get to this point I like to go through and like loosen them up basically just to make them look a little bit more voluminous obviously my hair is quite thin so just make them look a little bit more like they have actual life or a bit more hair in them just like that <laughs> I quite like them you know it does the job I have an avocado in the pantry that I think has gone bad which is a classic situation um, but I'm gonna have a look at it and I might have some like avocado and eggs on toast for breakfast <sighs> I love daffodils they're so springy delightful what can you see over there um, I mean it might be okay actually to be fair maybe it'll be perfect Part's not too bad to be fair. I think we're okay. I also really want to do that thing where people grow the like avocado seed. So maybe we'll try and grow this one and like pop it out. Because <laughs> so I don't want to damage it. Give me that avocado back. Here we go. Tell me that doesn't look bloody delightful. Yum. So while I have my uh, breakfast this morning, I'm going to upload yesterday's video um, and probably have a look at my work emails. So, I mean, exciting time. I'll see you afterwards. <laughs> I was so excited to sit down and eat my breakfast that I forgot to make a coffee, which is just, I was like, I feel like I need a drink. <laughs> this though. Absolutely delicious, 10 out of 10, but I'm going to go make a coffee. <laughs> There's a reported case in Wellington. <laughs> it's not confirmed yet, but there is a reported case in Wellington. Um, and it's coming from sources like Radio New Zealand and The Herald. Um, the Herald, not so like great with their sources, but Radio New Zealand, I trust. <laughs> I highly doubt they would publish something if it wasn't true. So that's not ideal, you know? We Pamela... My wee mum mum has got to go to the supermarket, so I've asked her to pick me up a few things. I don't need anything like crazy, um, just a few little things here and there that would um, make things easier. I don't have a lot of sugar, so I can't really do a lot of baking if I don't have much sugar. So um, if we are going to be in this lockdown for a, a few more days, clearly I'm going to want to bake some stuff. <laughs> Which sucks this time though, because last time in lockdown I could make baking and there was mum and dad to eat it. Whereas like this time, it's just me, which is not ideal. <laughs> But I just, it's not even like I want the end product, I just like the process of doing it and making something. So, yeah, well I mean, my brother lives next door, so I could potentially just pop it down on the grass and tell him to go and fetch it for himself. Um, and I can still go and see mum and dad, I guess, so that's a positive. Um, but yeah, she's going to head to the supermarket soon, so I just need to make a list of what I want. <laughs> Alright, it is 11 o'clock. Um, I really need to <laughs> sort out my spare room. I feel like I'm letting you guys in, in a horrid little secret. For the most part, my house is relatively well organised. I mean, the table's a little bit chaotic at the moment, but like everything is where it needs to be. Um, these here, I need to hang up. I need to find somewhere to put them. Um, when I moved in, I was like, I'll just get the living space, my bedroom and the bathroom sorted out. The spare room can just be the place that I put things until I get a chance to organise them. 
Then I closed the door on the spare room <laughs> and just left it. <laughs> so um, I've got now until the three o'clock update and we are going to tackle the spare room. So come with me and I'll show you what's going on. <laughs> this is the door to the spare room. Oh guys, prepare yourself. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, it's so upsetting. Like, why did I just put things on the floor and be like, I'm done? <sighs> so anyway, at least it's a small room, you know? Um, just a lot of boxes. I don't know what happened here. I think I needed to find something, so I just biffed everything on the ground, which is super helpful. Um, there is a desk back under there. Wouldn't it be nice if I could use that? <laughs> I don't really know what I'm going to film in terms of, like, me, like, trying to sort this absolute shit show out whether or not I'll do it as like a montage or whether or not I'll talk to you but we're all gonna find out together wish me luck <laughs>
It's stressing me out. <laughs> I just want to know. Eh. Clearly, if there's cases like anywhere else in New Zealand, we're going to be in a longer lockdown. So I just want to know. Come on, Ministry of Health. Please pop up that little update. It's now 1.30 and there's still no update. <laughs> there are three cases in Wellington. Well, I guess that we're going to be in lockdown for a little bit longer, aren't we? <laughs> That's not ideal, really, is it? So... I guess we'll wait to find out some more information. The way that she's lying at the moment, you can really see her like shape, but you can see a nipple. You could never see her nipples before. You can see like the curved bit around her. Oh, come on phone. You can see the curved bit around her leg. It looks like a chicken drumstick. <laughs> Are you showing me your shaved bit? She won't let me touch it. Oh, it's very soft. Does anyone know how to safely dispose of old laptops? I have this trait. <laughs> I, um, when I got my like job at Briscoe's, I believe, I saved so hard so that I could buy this pink Sony Bio laptop. And it was my true treasure. I love everything about it. I still love it to be fair, but um, it doesn't work anymore. Um, I'll like flick you over and show you all the bits that are so wrong with it. <laughs> I mean, first of all, it's disgusting. And I mean, I've not even used it for years. So why is it like this? <laughs> um, it's missing the backspace button, but you can actually, oh, you can just tap like that little thing and it does work. Um, but the biggest issue is whatever happened over here. It kind of like, I don't know, you have to like push it down. It's, it's not a situation. I wonder if I could turn it on though. I don't even think I have a charger for it anymore, to be fair. God, I loved the sweet thing though. Um, but anyway, the question is, does anyone know, like, a safe way to, like, dispose of them? Because I've been holding on to it for many, many years now. <laughs> and I don't really need it anymore. As much as I love it. This is before. And this is after. Wow. There's actual floor in there. <laughs> um, clearly, I've still got a couple of boxes that I need to deal with. Um, but for the most part, she's a lot cleaner. It is like 2.54. So we are six minutes away from finding out if we are moving levels. I'd imagine not. Um, so I am about to sit down and watch that update. Um, when I sent through my list to mum asking her to grab me some fast stuff from the supermarket, I included a savoury snack of your choosing, surprise me. <laughs> Which I don't know if she enjoyed or not. But this is what she got me. Some roasted garlic aioli artisan chips. Very fancy. So let's try them. I've not tried them before. I feel like they smell like garlic. They kind of smell like McDonald's fries. The garlic doesn't really come through until the very last part. But they're quite nice actually. I think I've had garlic chips in the past and like found them way too intense. Like garlic is obviously quite a strong flavour. Um, okay, I'm trying to think which ones I've had before. I've had a garlic chip before and they were so intense that they were almost like you only had a few and you're like, oh, no more for me. But they seem okay to be fair. It's not like over the top, nice crunch. Not bad. That'll make a good little snack while we watch Jacinda. <laughs> so, we're in lockdown until Tuesday. Lots more videos coming your way. <laughs> Lucky me. Um, but at least this might mean that I can actually do some more exciting stuff. Like, I've obviously just been doing stuff that I needed to do. But we might end up with days where I don't have stuff that I need to do and I can do fun things. So that's exciting. Um, it is now four o'clock. Um, I'm not gonna bother like making dinner tonight. I've got some leftover like of that capsicum pasta So I'm going to have that for dinner 
Um, what I do want to do though is make some biscuits. And I said I wanted to do this the other day and never ended up making them. But what I want to make is hundreds and thousands biscuits. When I was at mum's yesterday, she had a pack of hundreds and thousands biscuits and I haven't had them in ages. And I was like, this will be delicious. Tried them <laughs> and they're so different to what they used to be like. Um, first of all, they're like so much smaller and I don't know, they just had a weird like taste to them and stuff. So I'm gonna do some research. Like surely someone out there has made a recipe for hundreds and thousands um, and I wanna make them. So maybe the next video you'll see will be me in the kitchen doing that. Honestly, who knows? I say things and then genuinely just don't do them most of the time. But yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> Here's the situation. I have done the smallest amount of research possible <laughs> into a hundreds and thousands biscuit recipe. Um, I looked at a couple, I've written down what I kind of want to do, <laughs> and we're just going to swing it, you know? Um, I'm also very well aware that this, ta this top has got stains on it. <laughs> I washed it last night, but I didn't put any like stuff on them. I thought it would just like come out in the wash. Clearly it's not. Um, that's already on me and it's cozy, so I'm just gonna keep wearing it. We're all gonna ignore this situation. Cool. Um, we're gonna start with some butter and sugar. Imagine, in the biscuit recipe. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Um, I'm gonna find my paddle. Oh, this drawer is a nightmare. <laughs> and a. Oh, I think Snooky's trying to get in and she can't use her candle. Get on, Annie. Open the door for you. I just open the door for her, it's easier at this stage. Um, I just need to find my pedal attachment. Pedal attachment. I have purchased a um, whole bunch of containers to like organize my drawers. I just haven't got there yet. Oh, very yawny. Um, 62 grams of butter, 82 grams of sugar. The initial recipe that I looked at said that it made <laughs> 60 biscuits, which um, just seems a little bit outrageous. So I have um, kind of followed that one and halved it, kind of. But it does have an egg in it, and I'm still going with one egg because, you know, who halves an egg? No one. No one halves an egg. This tiny pink chopping board is one of my favorite purchases ever. It is perfect for just like cutting butter. You know, sometimes you just want to do little stuff. You don't want to get out like a giant chopping board to do that stuff. If you go into that friggin' litter box and we, after you've just been outside, I will disown you. No, you can go outside. If you need to wee, you can go outside. The audacity of that cat. <laughs> I've just let her inside and she went to her friggin' litter box. Like, no. All right, I'm going to beat that until it is creamy. <laughs> when I say that I'm going to beat it, I mean this can beat it for me. <laughs> You'll all be pleased to know that I have found my actual baking spoons, so I don't just have to guess anymore. Um, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of the vanilla into this mix. Oh, vanilla smells so good. It seems so basic, but it really is delightful. And the world's smallest egg. All right, to that I'm going to add one cup of flour. Every time I take this lid off, I get flour everywhere. <laughs> so annoying. So that one cup of flour. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Or actually just under to be fair. And quarter teaspoon of baking powder.
then mix those up. All right, so now I need to basically roll this out. Um, it is still like relatively sticky. So I'm gonna roll it out between two bits of baking paper. Um, then I'm probably gonna chuck it in the fridge just for a bit to cool down. Um, and then I will cut out our shapes. So I'm just gonna take my mixture. Now I do wanna roll this pretty thin to be fair. Um, if you think about hundreds and thousands, they're not like a thick biscuit by any means. So I'm just trying to get it smushed out first, a bit thinner, and then I will make sure that I'm rolling with even pressure so that it's all even and we don't end up with big bumpy biscuits. Alright, I feel like this is good thickness so um, I'm just going to pop it in, oh it's probably a bit thick there, um, I'm going to pop it in the fridge once I roll out. That bit there. All right, off to the fridge. All right, so I have my prepared tray. I'm just gonna grab out the biscuits. You can see that that's now like holding its shape, um, which is gonna make it a lot easier for me to cut it out. Oh. I always peel it off and then flip it over so that I like, can guarantee that I can get it off the paper. Alright. Oh, I just smacked my head on the rain shot. That's solid. Wow. They already look like hundreds of thousands. These are so cute! I already love them and they're not even cooked. Um, I'm going to chuck this first tray into the oven, then I will re-roll these and get a few more out. I think these biscuits are probably about ready. Yep. Some of them are starting to get colour around the outside, which they probably shouldn't have, but it's my kitchen, I could do what I want. <laughs> yeah, they feel good. I'm excited. Also, I got all of the um, pink dinner set, well, most of it, <laughs> um, washed and put away. All those cups, don't want them there. Um, I've just got some, I've just purchased some like under hooks for here so that the cups can hang and then I'll just have my plates and bowls in there. Um, there's just a few more that need to be washed and then it's done. Smokey's staring at me. Um, they're so cute! Mm. And then just like random shit at the top just really ruining the aesthetic but that's fine. And I'm going to get started on the icing. Um, so I'm going to do one tablespoon of milk, one tablespoon of sugar syrup. Um, let's start with the sugar syrup to be fair. I feel like that already looks like quite a good consistency to be fair. Like I don't think you'd want it to be much more runny than that. A tiny bit of pink food colouring. Now I really don't want this to be like a bright bright pink. So I'm just going to use a toothpick to get like a bit of colour and add it in that way, especially because it's gel. That feels like the perfect colour pink. <laughs> um, I think my biscuits are cool enough that I can ice them and I need to find my hundreds and thousands. The biscuits have cooled down. I just want to do a trial on this sporadic looking one. Um, I'm going to use my little baby offset spatula. Just get like a little bit of icing and smoosh it. Oh my god guys stop, this is so cute. I feel like the icing consistency is perfect, it's smooshing enough but it's not like running off the edges. 
I put a tray underneath this so that I can sprinkle and then catch any that fall. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never been so excited in my whole life. Oh my god, that's so cute. Alright, well, um, I guess we'll get ready for a montage of me doing all of the bickies. They've turned out so cute. Like, I'm stoked. Mm. Okay, let's try them. It's a nice, like, crunchy biscuit. Which is not at all what store brought ones are like. <laughs> They're usually quite soft. These might go soft by tomorrow, though, because I've got icing on them. Flavour wise, they taste nothing like the store brought ones, but they're delicious. I feel like these are a kid's dream. They're just like sweet and crunchy and they look cute, so <laughs> very, very up my alley. <laughs> Yum. All right, I'm just heating up some of this pasta from the other night for my dinner. Um, perks of living on your own. <laughs> I find it really hard to like cook just like one meal you know um i normally end up doing two and then take it for like lunch the next day um but while i've been here to be fair i'm not really eating lunch i'm just having like breakfast and dinner um there's still so much pasta left so i'm gonna put this into a container and put it in the freezer because i don't really want to eat it for a third night in a row so you know so my plans for the evening i have got the finale of big brother to watch very exciting times. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, and I need to edit. So I'll probably watch the finale, edit today's video, and then have a schnooze. Um, considering that we've got a fair few more days in lockdown, I will um, try and find some more exciting stuff for us to do. <laughs> you know, not that this hasn't been riveting so far. Um, yeah. Anyway. My dins is done, so I'm going to go and have some of that, and I'll talk to you soon. It is 8.30, and I have still not watched Big Brother. <laughs> I watched the end of the news and Seven Sharp while I had my dinner. Um, then I started watching TikTok. <laughs> the worst invention ever, but also the best, is TikTok, because I just sit there for ages watching videos, and it's so useless. <laughs> But I love it, so um, I got really like into watching a whole bunch of dance videos. And I'm like, maybe I should learn some TikTok dances, you know? Like I, I watch them all the time and I think they're great and I never learn them. So maybe I have to add that to my list of to-dos, is to learn some TikTok dances. There's this one particular one at the moment. And the song like gets stuck in my head all the time. And it's basically just like testing your like knees and your... um your like balance I guess <laughs> it's pretty hoey to be fair but um I kind of want to do it um and there's this like Missy Elliott like remix one that I quite like the look of as well anyway <sighs> I can't move at the moment because someone is hanging out with me so she's keeping me nice and warm she's like a little hot water bottle um but I still haven't done a lockdown outfit of the day so I really need to um, hop to it it's not going to be this outfit though because it's formal Friday so I'm gonna go find some formal attire <laughs> hello there welcome to lockdown outfit of the day um, it is Friday which means in the words of our only God Hillary Barry uh, we must wear formal wear so I've pulled out some clothes that aren't track pants, I've put them on, and I'm going to do my outfit of the day. Um, what I thought I would do today, for those of you who don't know, the whole reason I film these, like, outfit of the days, um, and the reason that I do these, like, weird, like, things, basically, I base it off, like, probably, like, 
2009 outfit of the days that uh, YouTubers used to put up on YouTube and they would like show you what they're wearing and it would be like them in a park like by a tree like being weird like <laughs> you know them on a random doorstep or whatever so my whole idea behind them was to film just like in a boring place and do ridiculous poses because I feel like that is exactly what those like old outfit of the days were. Anyway I thought I would change it up today and I have googled a bunch of bizarre model poses from the likes of Vogue and Zara the, sh the store and a bunch of other places um, and I'm going to imitate <laughs> what each of the models has done um, and I will include a little picture of what I was copying um, next to me. <sighs> Hope you enjoy. <laughs> It is 10.06 and it feels so much later, like I'm so tired. <laughs> um, I haven't done any editing and I haven't watched Big Brother. What I have been doing <laughs> is filming that goddamn TikTok video that I was telling you about. <laughs> um, I posted it on TikTok. I'll see how I feel about uh, posting it on here tomorrow. Um, it's actually a lot harder than it looks, I must say. But we got there in the end. Um, so yeah, now I still, oh, I'm going to yawn. Oh. <sighs> mm, what a treat. So now I'm going to, um, edit while I'm sitting in bed and I'm going to watch the Big Brother final. How exciting. Um, have a wonderful evening. Um, stay safe. Be kind, as Auntie Cindy would say. And that's me for t What is this? What is this hand? Why do I do this? <sighs> Good night. <laughs>